in fiscal year 2021 through the Substance Abuse Prevention and Treatment Block Grant Program COVID-19 Supplemental Awards, the Ohio Department of Mental Health and Addiction Services, Ohio University's Voinovich School of Leadership and Public Service, and the Pacific Institute for Research and Evaluation came together to provide support to five urban behavioral health boards in Ohio as they engaged in community-based processes to address the impact of social determinants of health when planning for substance use disorder prevention and mental health promotion services and programming. This Community Collective Impact Model for Change 2.0, addressing social determinants of health in minority and underserved communities was unique because the Urban Behavioral Health Boards received phase funding. Project directors began phase one by working to bring together people and groups who had lived experience with health disparities and social determinants of health. Collaboratively and iteratively, community work groups created a data-driven impact statement in phase two. From this impact statement, work groups then created three-year prevention services plans detailing the goals, objectives, and action steps to be taken to address a specific social determinant of health within an identified priority population as the final initiative phase. The series of videos that follow were created by the communities for the community and highlight the three phases of this initiative through photo voice, ethical photography for social change. Mahoning County SDOH Grant Impact Statement As we address social determinants of health, Mahoning County recognizes the need in underserved communities to reduce stigmas surrounding availability and access to health care services, including mental health services, by providing resource fairs, training, and an anti-stigma campaign initiative. Take that step. We will help individuals in our underserved populations understand that resources are available and accessible, enhancing the upstream social environments in healthcare, education, and social services. understand that resources are available. I am the Community Engagement and Outreach Coordinator for the Hawaii County Mental Health and Recovery Board. That is my title. I love doing this work because I just want to help people. We do this day in, day out, and you do it, right? To just help people and impact change. I'm a project director and a goalie status of Office of Library Health. Uh, for Youngstown City Health District. She is uh, the other project director for this grant. What happens is like when we are out at, you know, do a lot of resource fairs, community events, to make sure that people understand what help is available. And so everywhere we've gone, every event that we've participated in, uh, people come up to us and say, either I didn't know this was available, or they'll say, I really need this help. Thank you, you know, for sharing these resources with us. And or we'll have to, you know, make sure they know, okay, I know that there's help available, but you have to take that step, you know, to access those resources. This is our, our work group, okay? So we have Joseph Oka, Elizabeth, Jamil, there's from Young South City Health District. And you know, I have to work with my partner, uh, Mr. Bernie, who serves the Community Initiative to Reduce Violence. Okay, we're, this is the third work group for our grant, and we've been working hard. So, like everywhere we went, and that's how we developed in our prevention services plan, that's how we developed, you know, the Take That Step campaign. Because our whole messaging is to the people that in our community that we serve, to the individuals in the community, you know, and it expands. It doesn't mean, you know, I know our grant targeted underserved and minority populations, but at the same time, everybody can benefit taking that step. You know, everybody in whatever capacity you need help, 
it spans across <laughs> all, you know, racial backgrounds, cultural, uh, you know, financial backgrounds. It doesn't matter. When people need help, they need help. The work we've just seen was guided in part by the CDC resource titled Promoting Health Equity, a resource to help communities address social determinants of health, which describes how considering the impact of social determinants of health when planning for prevention services can improve health outcomes and promote health equity across the lifespan. Additionally, the Ohio University and Pyre teams provided training, technical assistance, professional development, and networking opportunities. The results represent a truly community-led initiative focused on actualizing the impact statements to work towards health equity in each community.